Google offers a powerful free keyword research tool called the Keyword Planner. This can be found in your Google Ads account and allows you to identify search queries that are related to your products or services that you can target in your marketing campaigns or use in your content marketing activities. Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all well. Now today we'll be launching into the Google Ads Keyword Planner and share how you can use this free tool to engage in keyword and market research. Now, just before we jump into the Keyword Planner, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that quick note out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right into the Keyword Planner. <music> Okay, so to locate the Keyword Planner, what we first need to do is log into our Google Ads account. If you don't already have a Google Ads account, you can simply create one for free by heading over to ads.google.com and creating a free account. Or just go ahead and simply log in if you have an existing Google Ads account. Then navigate up to Tools and Settings. And then under Planner over on the left hand side, you'll notice Keyword Planner. Simply click here and then come down and what we want to do is focus on discovering new keywords. These are keywords or search phrases that people type in onto Google to find your products or services. So go ahead and click discover new keywords. Then down here what we want to do is think about some keywords or search queries that your customers or potential customers will be typing in onto Google to find your products, services or your business. For the purpose of this tutorial, the example business we're going to use today is a roofing business. Therefore, we want to type in a keyword related to roofing. And let's say this small business operates in a specific geographical location. Most likely you have a small business and you only want to target customers or potential customers that are searching for your specific products or services within a geographical location. So I'm going to go ahead and type in roofing service to get started with our keyword research within the keyword planner. So think about a keyword, a search query that your potential customers or customers are searching for on Google search. Then if you like, you can add additional keywords, but for now, we're just going to get started with one keyword, then come down and click get results. And here we are within our Keyword Planner. Now, if you currently don't have an active Google Ads account, then some of this information will be limited. For example, this information up here, this graph, you will not be able to see. And then down here, under Average Monthly Searches, you might not have this exact information. You will have a rough estimate of your average monthly searches per keyword. However, this does not stop you from using this tool for market and keyword research. You will just see limited information. However, if you do have a Google Ads account, then you will see this information up here and you'll have a more accurate result for the average monthly searches per keyword. Now, if we navigate up to the top, we can first see our keyword that we selected earlier. If we click here, we can come down and add additional keywords that we want to gather information for. So enter products or services closely related to your business. Again, we're going to leave it as roofing services for now and come down and click get results. Then next to our keyword, we have New Zealand selected under location. If we select here, we can change the location that we want to analyze. So for example, for the purpose of this tutorial, I mentioned that we're going to use a roofing business and they operate in a geographical location. So what we're going to do is navigate up here and remove New Zealand as a country, then select enter a location to target. And we're going to type in Bay of Plenty, which is a region in New Zealand that this business operates in and then down here we can find the location that we want to target here we have the target location and you can see that location on the map on the right hand side we can also go ahead and add additional target locations if we like and to simply remove the location just click the X however I'm happy with this target location so I'm going to select save then if we navigate along next to location, we have the date range. If we select here, we can come down and see last month, last 12 months, last 24 months, 
or we can create a custom time period. However, I'm happy with the last 12 months. This gives us a good range of what's been happening within the last 12 months to gauge what's gonna happen in the next 12 months. So I'm gonna select last 12 months. Then under the options that we just selected, you can see some relevant keywords related to the keyword that you typed in earlier. So we typed in roofing services. You can see relatable keywords to that keyword building contractor, roofing companies, roofing installation, and we can add these to broaden our search. Again, we're just gonna leave the keyword as roofing services. Then if we navigate down past these keywords, you can see the graph that represents the search volume trends of keywords related to the keyword that we typed in earlier, roofing services within the location that we targeted, and then between the date range that we selected. This is a 12 month period for the search terms related to our roofing services keyword that we entered in earlier. Now this gives you an overall idea of the trend throughout the year. For example, you can identify that in December there has been a 37% decrease in regards to the search volume trend. Now, where you're gonna be spending the majority of your time within the Keyword Planner is identifying and analyzing keywords below this graph. If we scroll down, you can see keyword by relevance. Remember, we typed in roofing services as the keyword we wanted to target. These are relatable keywords or keyword phrases that people are typing in that are related to this keyword. Then if we come down to our focus keyword, roofing services, and navigate over to the right hand side, you can see under average monthly searches, this keyword receives only around 10 average searches per month. Next to that, we have the competition level, which is medium. This will show as low, medium, or high. As you can see down here below keyword ideas, we have other relevant keywords. These have high competition. Roofing companies, I'm guessing this is near me, high. Roof repair, high. Roofing companies, high. And you can see some other keywords down here to identify the competition level. This gives you an idea if you should be targeting that keyword or how popular that keyword is when it comes to people targeting these keywords with Google Ads, paid advertising. Then we have ad impression share. Now, if you already have these keywords on your account and you're already targeting these keywords, you will see your ad impression share. So basically out of all the impressions per month, we get 10% of those impressions. Then we have top of the page bid, low range and top of the page high range. This shows how much it's gonna cost you to rank at the top of the page on the first page of Google search the low range. So this could cost you as low as $1.98 to rank at the top of the first page of Google search. Then over here we have the high range, which is $6.13. So that is the difference of cost that you'll be spending when someone clicks on your ad if you're targeting one of these keywords. So you'll have an idea of how much it's gonna cost you to advertise on the first page of Google with Google Ads. And then we have account status. Again, this just shows the keywords that are currently in your account. Now, for example, if we wanted to add these keywords into our account, the ones that we don't currently have, all we would do is simply select on the keywords that we want to add to our account. Then we can navigate up to here and we can either plan, so plan a new campaign, or we can come down and add to an existing campaign. Then we can navigate over here. So if I select existing campaign, I can come down and add an existing campaign. For example, if I select this campaign, then it's gonna ask me to select an ad group within that campaign. So what I'll do is exit out of that because I don't actually wanna do that right away. And then we have broad match. And at the beginning, all you'd want to select is broad match because you want to identify what people are actually typing in onto Google search to make your ads appear on Google that are searches related to the keywords that you've added to your campaign. So I hope that makes sense. Basically what you wanna do is spend most of your time identifying keywords that you want to target based on high monthly search volumes, based on the competition, and understanding how much you're gonna be paying per keyword when someone clicks on your ad. So if we navigate up here and exit out of that, and then scroll back up to the top, we can also navigate over to charts, and then come down and break down by platform, 
which shows you a breakdown of search volume coming from mobile, tablet, and desktop. You can see that the majority of search volume for these keywords is coming from mobile. Then if we navigate over to charts again, we can come down and click breakdown by locations. And this is gonna give us a breakdown of the different areas based on the area that we're targeting that generate the most search traffic or search volume traffic. For example, we have Taringa, which is a city, Rotorua and Fakatane. These are all cities and towns within the Bay of Plenty, New Zealand. And you can see that breakdown here. So again, what you wanna do is type in keywords that are related to your business, your products and services, and identify keywords that you can target. These are keywords you can use in your Google Ads campaigns, or you can use them in your content. For example, if you engage in content marketing, you wanna rank high on Google search with SEO, then this helps you identify those keywords that you can use within your content that people are searching for. There's no point using keywords that have very little search volume. You wanna identify keywords that have high search volume and then target those specific keywords. So that is a brief rundown on how you can get started with the keyword planner within your Google Ads account. And there we have it guys, that is it for today's brief keyword planner tutorial for beginners to help you get started with keyword research. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like below this video, subscribe to the channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.